All right, so appeal. Is it appealing? Is it good for you? Is it going to save you thousands of dollars a year in lost produce, the stuff that you throw out? Is it going to save that? Is it good for the environment? Is it good for your body? What's in it? Can we find that out? I have no idea. Let's find that out. Let's get started. This is Ryan over at High Carb Regenerator. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to hop right into it. Mm -hmm. I think we should point out that uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation is basically funding this. So that is something that you might want to watch out for. So how safe is safe? You decide uh, monodiglycerides uh, uh, derived from grape seeds. So basically they chemically process grape seeds and they extrude this uh, form of linoleic acid <laughs> to put on this stuff. Now, as we know, grape or any kind of seed oil is very, uh, goes rancid very quickly. This uh, may uh, sound innocuous or uh, even healthy, but according to leading health expert, grapeseed oil is comprised of polyunsaturated fats, which if you've watched my channel, you'll know that that is something that you would really want to stay away from, uh, especially omega-6 fatty acids and omega-9 fatty acids, which of course cause massive inflammation in the body that when consumed in high quantities are have in a have a higher than ideal ratio to omega-3 fatty acids, increase inflammation, hormonal imbalances, thyroid disorders, high cholesterol, and obesity. So this is this is the thing. They, they keep doing all of this stuff and everybody keeps wondering why the health goes down and down and down. They blame the calories, so they keep starving themselves, and then they starve themselves to a point where they can't take it anymore. Then they binge, and they get even fatter, and they, bl they keep blaming the calories. Meanwhile, this stuff is going on uh, to actually, you know, is probably what's causing the issues in the f first place, especially anything that's messing with hormonal imbalances. That is going to set you up for failure every single time. Go on to find out that this turns into triglycerides, High levels of triglycerides are attributed to hardening of the arteries. So now here we go. We've got increased inflammation, hormonal imbalances, thyroid disorders, high cholesterol and obesity, and hardening of the arteries all can come from this appeal. And they keep calling it food grade, but really it's just chemically processed uh, seed oils. <laughs> all right. So, and then here's another statement by the CDC warns that ethanol acetate can affect the body. If inhaled, it comes with contact with the eyes, skin, or is swallowed. Uh, it's known as hexane, according to tox uh, Toxic Free Future. So short-term exposure affect the central nervous system brain and can cause he uh, headaches, dizziness, confusion, nausea, uh, clum clumsiness, drowsiness, and other effects uh, similar to intoxication. So that sounds good. <laughs> In addition to the chemical res residuals from the catalyst that's used to get this stuff and neutralizing agents, heavy metals were found to be left over. So palladium, arsenic, sounds good, right? They're going to blame the arsenic in the, the rice, but yet they're going to spray arsenic on your food. Lead, sounds real good. Cadmium uh, and mercury. Now, interestingly, cadmium used to be put in most paints and it has been taken out of most paints because it is toxic but then they're going to put it on the fruits and vegetables that you eat so you know i, I don't want to read this whole thing because it's, it's fairly long but um this one if i get a chance i will link this one this one's probably the best of what i've found however due to monoglycerides uh being a type of fat consuming excessive amounts of food high in them may not be healthy additionally many foods that contain uh, added emulsifiers also tend to have high levels of saturated and trans fats such as baked goods and fried foods during the manufacturing process, mixtures of monoglycerides and diglycerides uh, can potentially become contaminated with very small amounts of toxins, toxins including lead, nickel, ash, cadmium, mercury, and arsenic. Now, even in small amounts, do you really want to be consuming something? Do you want somebody to have to wear improperly, I, I will say, a mask to apply this to the plant? You know, here's another one that maybe I'll, uh, I'll link. Um, and here's an, everything you need to know. But this, I found this comment to be very interesting interesting and it is already supermarkets are removing best before dates from fruit and vegetable packing this has been replaced with a code uh like e3 e4 or 5 you know according to which week um the item was processed do you really want to live in this kind of world where this is going on typed in appeal vegetable spray 
And it's interesting that the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are appeal sciences. Kind of, kind of interesting. And then we'll uh, also note that we got some fact checkers in here, which basically states that the stuff is something you should watch out for. So avocados from North America and Europe, North America, cucumbers, limes. North America, Europe, mandarins, Europe, oranges, Europe, uh, organic apples, awesome, North America, lemons, Europe, grapefruit, Europe, and mangoes, Europe. So that's what is being applied to. All right, so my conclusion is I'd stay away from it at all costs, especially with the people who are connected with it. I wouldn't want anything to do with it. Now, are they going to get to the point where they don't have to disclose it in the label or put that little sticker on it? I have no idea. But until they get to that point, you know, I would just say clear, clear, clear of it. You know, they're doing all this kind of everything they can to make things look organic these days. And that is a good sign of something to probably stay away from. But anyway, your thoughts, comments, questions down in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.